Medical Innovations is a next generation mobile health and digital health company. With me is the president and CEO, Yaakov Geva, uh, to talk about the company. And let's just sort of give me an overview. What's unique about G Medical? G Medical is unique in a few areas of our activity versus the industry. One, we have a technology vertical where well, we have a range of technologies that nobody has. Mm. We have uh, a service a, a vertical where we monitor patients all over the United States, regardless where they are, or regardless where they are anywhere on the globe. Okay. And we have the third vertical, which is the new vertical, uh, the at-home test kits, where we can test 31 different diseases viruses, uh, sexual diseases, um, HPV, women health, men's health, mm. you name it, we are doing it. Yeah, so this is really where you see healthcare going? Yeah. I guess kind of more digital and more at home care. More at home, you're 100% right. <clears throat> the insurance companies are pushing it at home. The uh, healthcare uh, industry is pushing at home to do everything that we can do at home. This is where we are. Mm. And we are well positioned to take over different areas of diseases like uh, heart patients, like hypertension, like diabetes, like sleep uh, uh, disorders, all of it. And those, if I will tell you that 121 Amer million Americans are suffering from hypertension, would you believe it? I would believe it. <laughs> would you believe, <laughs> I would, I would you believe that 80% of them are suffering from uh, sleep disorders? Mm, well. What is happening with those one that are suffering from sleep disorder? They will somewhere, sometimes down the road, they will be heart patients. Mm, interesting. Because when you don't sleep and you wake up a hundred times a night and you don't know that you are waking up a hundred times a night. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. And in the morning, you're saying, I'm so tired, mm -hmm. but I slept the whole night. No, you did not. You waked up a hundred times, but you don't know. So this is the uniqueness of the company. Okay. We are taking care with our technologies and our services the whole spectrum of these things. Yeah. Well, it really makes sense to do more of that care at home. It's, it's easier. It's cheaper. And then only go to the doctor when necessary. We are talking about quality of life mm -hmm. and quality mm -hmm. of care. And quality of care and quality of life can be only at home and not in a set place like a hospital. Okay. Nobody wants to be in a hospital. Right. I mean, this is not a hotel. This is a hospital. Right. It's kind of boring. Yeah. So <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Oh, so are there any upcoming catalysts for the company that could affect its stock price or perhaps your business going forward? Yeah, there is uh, some very new, innovative, uh, I would say, breakthrough technologies okay. that we will be introducing to the market in the very near future, uh, which can be a catalyst. Uh, you want to elaborate on that a little bit, or can you? I can't. Okay. I can't because... <laughs> the proprietary uh, information? Yeah, we are a public company. And, okay, got it. But... Uh, I would, I would say that it will be a surprise to the market. Hmm, interesting. So, and we talked a little bit about how the healthcare market is evolving. I mean, what are some of your big thoughts about that? Home care, digital, are we gonna be monitoring our health through wearables, things like that? How do yeah. you see things happening? Yeah, uh, I will tell you in the early 90s when I started telemedicine, people thought that I felt on my head. <clears throat> Why? Because there was no reimbursement. Mm. I was a pioneer. I had to, uh, to uh, convince the market that they are wrong, that they are doing the wrong thing. And you know, in, in, health, in the healthcare business, uh, in the medical business, they are very conservative. Mm -hmm. For a doctor to change direction, to change treatment, to change, it's all protocols. They don't change. But see what happened in 20. Well, so I was going to say the pandemic must have. So a little virus that nobody can see, smell, or touch changed the whole world. Yeah. 
basically this pandemic was putting us at home between the four walls. Mm -hmm. And we realized that the only thing that we can do and the right thing is telemedicine. Mm -hmm. We should send our medical information via the phone out there and not going to uh, an emergency room and get infected by somebody who is having already uh, uh, the virus or sitting in queuing at the physician office or offices, physician offices that have been totally closed, shut down because the doctors themselves right. were afraid to get infected. And I can tell you, I was infected. Mm. I was hospitalized. Mm -hmm. I was a week in the hospital with the Delta. Okay. And uh, I can tell you from experience, this was terrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. I couldn't no, move heard. my hands. Uh -huh. I was totally like paralyzed. Mm. Well, you know, what's interesting is that not only I feel like did the pandemic accelerate telehealth, but also the at-home stuff. We got used to testing for COVID at home. Yeah. We never really did that much before. Yeah. But now we get, I think we're getting more we used did to it. that too. We yeah. tested 102,000 people with at-home COVID. For COVID, yeah. yeah. But I, yeah, I feel like that got us yeah. used to medical at-home testing as well. And I will tell well. you more than that. Um, if you are you are a woman, so you know the, the answer. But I will ask you, if a woman wants or needs to do an HPV test, where would she go to do the test? To the doctor, to third party lab, or having the kit at home, doing it discreetly, throwing it into a plastic bag, send it to our lab in Austin. We do the test and within 48 hours, you have a, a, a your uh, report your report done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you prefer? Yeah. Uh, at home. I mean, I can of course, get used to it. Even know. if it costs you twice. Right. Yeah. But it doesn't cost you twice because this test will cost you a hundred dollars versus a thousand dollar. Going to the physician, very uncomfortable test. Mm -hmm. Going to the lab, uncomfortable test. Yeah. Interesting. So, what are your? You mentioned the new technology, which we can't talk about. Yeah. But what are your, kind of your plans for company growth? Those are the plans for the company's growth uh -huh. and increasing the number of patients that are going through our tests with the current technology, which we are in a very strong growth mode, uh -huh. as well as the new technology that will be coming will be a change ga a game changer, okay. a total game changer. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe when you're ready to announce that, we can maybe do another interview. I will be more than happy. <laughs> so tell me finally about your uh, relationship or partnership with Advent Health. Well, Advent uh, is, we have introduced our technologies, our services to Advent. They tried us. They were very uh, impressed with the mm -hmm. technology and the services. And they decided to sign an agreement with Is that us. an insurer? Advent Health. What do they do exactly? 51 hospitals. So they're hospital yeah, yeah, operators. 51 Got it. Okay. hospitals. And they are not for profit. Mm -hmm. But you know what is for, not for profit? Mm -hmm. Making a lot of profit. Yeah. So, but I mean, 51 hospitals. They have 20 hospitals in central Florida where we started. Okay. Those 20 hospitals are a... 20% of the GDP of Central Florida. Oh. They see 5.7 million patients a year. Mm. So it is a very important uh, uh, customer for us. And we are growing with them every day. Every day they send us their patients. They have their own virtual care center. Uh, so they use our technologies. I think that uh, Advent Health is a very interesting example of success, even though we are working also with the Cleveland Clinic, mm. and we are working also with Orlando Health and with a handful of other hospitals. But Advent is just huge. It's a big elephant, 51 hospitals. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, and that, that population in Central Florida, I think, would be receptive to what you're offering but as well. But they are also in Kansas and other states. I see. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming and explaining G-Medical. Thank you. Best thank of luck. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.